far in the video. I know you're motivated. I know you really want to make this happen. And I just want to let you know it's okay if you mess up. It's okay if you make mistakes. You just have to stick with this. If you mess up, start over the next day. If it's so hard that you have to do this in gradients, do that. Start with the seven day period where you eat clean and then 14 and then 21. And then basically you keep going from there. Until Today's segment, getting ripped, getting shredded, you know, getting those gains. And the best diet that I feel like is good for just entrepreneurs, people that are working professionals, or maybe you've just always struggled with losing weight or getting lean. This is the best diet for you. And it's the easiest to follow because you don't have to think about food all day. Actually, to make this point, most people that go on a diet fail. And the key, the trick is to actually have a change in your lifestyle. And that's ultimately gonna be the best way for you to hit your goals with fitness, with nutrition, with health, and just feel confident. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and share with you what I've done in terms of hacks, to make this change successful, how I set up my environment, and what a day looks like when you're intermittent fasting. But before I do that, I'm gonna share with you the benefits of intermittent fasting. What is intermittent fasting? To keep it simple, it's where you don't eat for a period of time. Most commonly, it's 16 hours, that's the fast, and then you have an eight hour period where you eat food in that block of time. Now for a lot of people, this might sound hard at first, but you'll get used to it. You're think about this, back in the day when we were hunters and gatherers, what did people do? They would go out there, they would hunt, get the kill, and then basically bring it back and they would eat you know, a big meal in other places besides the US, you know, portions aren't as big. You know, lunch is the most common meal. So it's really about where you're raised. Trust me, when you switch to this, your body will adapt and it'll be a lot easier for you to maintain a lean look. And also, I just like to wake up and jump into work. But let's go ahead and break down some of the benefits that I found online and I'll share some of the benefits that I've experienced personally. So benefit number one is weight loss. So it's pretty simple. If you are going on a diet, you need to make sure your calories are less than what you're actually needing for that day. So you need to be in a deficit. Now, the reason why this makes it simple is because you don't have to think about food all day long. Number two, and I'm gonna go ahead and read these off. Number two, we have insulin resistance. Number three, we have inflammation. Number four, we have heart health. Number five, cancer. I don't take my word on that one. There's studies on these different health benefits. If you wanna look into that on your own, do that, get with your doctor, that's gonna be the best route for you to go. And number six, we have brain health. And number seven, this is probably the best one. Okay, the funniest one actually. Anti-aging, right? So it was found that rats that practiced intermittent fasting actually lived 30 to 80% longer. So if you have a pet rat, that might be a good thing to keep in mind. Anyways, those are the benefits. There's scientific research that has been done on these areas, on different test groups, and it's all really, really good. At the end of the day, whatever you're trying to do for your diet and feeling good, you wanna just make sure it works for you, it works for your schedule, and you're able to be uh, consistent with it. And this is a pretty easy one to be consistent with. If you just do intermittent fasting and get results, you have to make sure that you are eating the right amount of calories. So what you're gonna need to do is make sure that you track those. So you can get an app like MyFitnessPal. This really helped me out at first. And then once you know what to eat, you just kind of eat that same thing. Maybe you get something new, you can look it up on the app, see how many calories it is. But basically you'll be able to type in your height, your weight, what your goal is, and it will show you exactly what you need to be eating in terms of calories on a daily basis to lose weight, to maintain weight, et cetera. That, those are some of the benefits. Now for me personally, what I feel like it does is it allows me just to wake up every single day. I wake up, I get a coffee, it depends. I don't always have coffee every single morning. There'll be times where I don't have coffee because I have trouble sleeping at night and I noticed that when I completely eliminated caffeine, it helped with that. But on a side note, most people do coffee or tea in the morning. Now you wanna try not to use sugar 
or anything like that. You wanna drink this thing just straight black coffee. You can put a little bit of like almond milk in it, but overall you wanna eliminate the sugar. Now here's the thing is, you don't have to approach this up front. You could do it in a gradient approach, meaning you could start with just doing coffee in the morning, put a little bit of sugar and cream, make your normal coffee, but you're basically gonna skip breakfast in the morning and you're gonna eat at 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, whatever time you feel like is best for you. Starting off, you're gonna be extremely hungry if you've already been eating breakfast. So you might start off at 11, and then a week goes by, two weeks go by, you go to 12, and then maybe it's 12.30, one, but basically once you eat that first meal, you're gonna eat all of your food in an eight hour window, and that's basically it. You're gonna get all your calories in, it's done, you know. For me, I pretty much eat one large meal every single day, and this isn't the best meal to eat, okay? It's not the healthiest, it's not the most nutritious, but I eat Chipotle, I'll eat Chick-fil-A, I'll eat something with like a lot of protein, and I basically supplement that with protein shakes, with fruit, with vegetables. Um, I do take a supplement to get like my greens in every single day, so I basically have everything on super autopilot, so I literally do not spend any time cooking for the most part. There are some special occasions, but that's what I have set up. I do my main meal, I'll have a smaller meal, and then I'll basically have a supplement which would be like protein or whatnot. Now the whole goal of this is for you to not think about food every single two to three hours. You could just focus on what you have to eat during those eight hours and be done with it. And actually, here's the real trick. Literally keep nothing in your fridge so that you are not tempted to eat anything that's not in alignment in your diet. Right here we have some meat, some bread, some almond milk, and usually I do have a few things, but to be honest, I just need to go grocery shopping. In terms of benefits, it's also something that I've noticed that when I eat specific types of food, I feel groggy and I feel like weighed down. So I try to eat uh, something like Chipotle, which, you know, it's not the healthiest, I know, I know, but I'll do like the Chipotle salad, the rice and rice and beans, and then chicken. That all, I still feel good after that. So another thing that I would do is start to become aware of the foods that make you feel good, or more energetic, that will lead to motivation, that will lead to action, you'll feel good about what you're doing. As time goes on, what's gonna happen is you can start taking out those things that are bad for you one by one and still have them every once in a while. So like, I'll have Sour Patch Kids when I watch movies, uh, you know, every so often. So if I watch a movie on the weekend, I'm gonna have Sour Patch Kids and a Diet Coke. Now I don't do that every single weekend, but every so often I will do that. Or if I go to the theaters, which they were closed down for a while, I think they're open back up, I would basically go ahead and have that same combination. So whatever it is, those items that you really, really like and they're not necessarily good for you, you could start taking those out one by one in a gradient approach. Focus on trying to make those adjustments and find foods that are healthier for you. At the same time, you don't necessarily need chicken, the asparagus, the rice, like super, super clean food. Obviously, that's gonna be good for you. There's a lot of nutrients. It's gonna be probably the best thing for your health long term, but to just feel better and look better, pay attention to things that you're actually eating on a daily basis. And I know for myself, when I stop being healthy, it really affects my motivation at my core. I almost feel guilty if I'm not being healthy. I do, I do. If I skip workouts too often, I just don't feel as confident. So all of these things can help you as an individual, help you get better. I hope you got some value from this. I just try to make this as simple as possible. And if you wanted to go ahead and figure out what food is good for you, what food would fit inside of your meal plan, you can get that at MyFitnessPal. With that, I'll see you in the next video. Get this far in the video, I know you're motivated, I know you really wanna make this happen, and I just wanna let you know it's okay if you mess up, it's okay if you make mistakes, you just have to stick with this. If you mess up, start over the next day. If it's so hard that you have to do this ingredients, do that. Start with a seven day period where you eat clean, and then 14, and then 21, and then basically you keep going from there until you get to 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, etc. And you will make the change. This will become a habit for you, it will become a lifestyle. 
And I'm not also letting you know this, we all have our own insecurities. We all have our own insecurities. I have mine, just to let you know, I have extremely skinny legs, like I work them out. They're pretty strong actually, but those that's one of mine. So just remember, it's you versus you every single week. Try to get better, focus on getting better. And at the end of the day, <clears throat> If you look yourself in the mirror and you see progress, that leads to happiness. There is a direct correlation between progress and happiness. So go out there, get it, make it happen, and write down your goal. Write down your goal, keep it in front of you every single day, and just go after it relentlessly. I'll see you in the next video.